Hey guys, Chris here, Independence Cincy Consultant. Um, this video is an empties video. I've got my bag here. It's pretty darn full. Um, I honestly don't remember when my last one was, but I think it's been, been a minute between um, getting the house almost done and getting some things moved in and whatnot. Um, I haven't really, really thought about a what I've been wearing video. Um, but the past couple of weeks being in the house all day working instead of out and about I've gone through a pretty good bit of wax because I'm changing it pretty regularly except <laughs> now that I'm in the house <laughs> and have these few warmers going on in the different rooms um, I'm finding that they are lasting longer which I kind of thought they would even with my windows wide open um, I'm finding that they are lasting a little bit longer, which I kind of thought they would, hoped they would, and um, have really been enjoying it because I, I could actually smell the Scentsy instead of smelling the camper with Scentsy covering it. <laughs> covering it. So um, my reviews are gonna probably change. I kind of, I kind of hinted that they probably would, just based on because my location's changing. Um, and and the ability to actually be able to smell these scents are better or it's going to change so with that said i'm going to move on um i i i if you're not familiar with this scent yet be fabulous i absolutely love this scent this is actually starting today i don't know if this video is going to go up today but today is april the first um, starting today, this is available, uh, with the Be Fabulous or, oh, here it is. It is available with the, um, Be Bold Warmer. So, this is the warmer in the scent of the month for April, and that is available today starting, starting today at 10% off. So this is the scent. This is Be Fabulous. Um, I did make samples with these, so this isn't all just warmed. Um, it was so gorgeous. I love it. It's a, it's a citrus, and I'm not typically a, a citrus lover, but it's a grapefruit citrus, so it's not just straight up lemon or orange. Um, it's got a grapefruit vibe to it. It's got, um, um, I'm getting wax on my nose. Well, I've got the scent description right here. I'm not going to go through just, just scent description through everything because I don't have it. Bright limoncello, limoncello sparkles with a splash of ruby grapefruit and sweet sugared musk. It's not musky. It's not musky like that in any way, so don't be afraid of that. But it gives it a different depth than just your cleaner type um, citruses. It, it is a clean, fresh citrus, but not a cleaner citrus. I absolutely love it. I love it. I, it performs well. It smells, it just smells awesome. Um, so I made samples, but then I warmed some as well. Uh, let's see. Oh, I put this all through the house. Pink tulips. I love pink tulips. I have one cube left. I couldn't find where to put just one cube. I need another mini warmer somewhere um, to take because my whole house pretty much takes one full bar except for one cube. And I don't want to waste it, so I'm not putting three cubes in, in a full-size warmer just to get rid of a cube. So, <clears throat> I need to put a mini warmer somewhere so I can waste it there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, so, Pink Tulips was in Bring Back My Bar a year ago. Um, it's in my club. I love it. It's a good, it's a good sweet, soft floral. I think it's perfect. It did really, really well in the house. Let's see. I'll save that for last. Okay, I had some stitch. Now I I don't I don't just absolutely love this scent. It's it's good, but I don't love it by itself. And so I put one cube of angel with it to kind of sweeten it up because this is a very sharp tropical. It's not even really a tropical fruity to me. It's more of a <clears throat> tropical green I'm not sure I'm not sure how to describe it so I put yeah see and this is just a sweet berry so I put um, a cube of that in with this to kind of just sweeten it up and it worked I've got it going in here 
Um, this is my office. It is a, what's this, a 10 by 9 room, so it's a fairly small room. Um, I've got my mermaid glass warmer in here. And um, uh, scents, scents throw really good in here. And it stays in here. It doesn't travel out the out the door, which I actually like. because Well, I mean, I could be right there at the hallway, right at the door. I could smell it. But it doesn't typically travel down the hall, which I, which I like. Because I want to be able to come in here and smell what I have going on in here. Instead of having it mingle in with what I've got going in the den. Now, um, I tend to like the same scents all throughout. So... I don't think that's going to be a big issue, but working in here every day, all day, I might change this scent out more frequently just, just because I'm bored with it instead of changing the whole house out. But anyway, um, moving on. It did really good in here. It's I've got it going in now, and I put it in two days ago. So I, I'm about ready to change it just because it's fading and, and I'm kind of done with it, but, um, it, but it's done really well. But when I do mix the rest of this, stitch I will definitely be mixing it with Angel to give it a little more sweetness let's see oh another be fabulous I have two cubes left of it <laughs> let's see spring has sprung this was March um, scent of the month I really like this one it is a super light floral um, very light but it gives it that kind of background you know, like if you're walking outside and you walk through, walk past a, um, a flowering bush that smells good and you're like, hmm, what is that smell? You know, that's nice. I like that. That's what this does for me. That's how this smells for me. And I really like that because it doesn't overpower the house in a floral because, you know, florals can get really headache inducing really fast. <coughs> no, I don't have Corona. <laughs> it's pollen. That my all of my trees are are speaking of flowering bushes. All of my um, pecans and my um, um, what is called hardwoods, uh, whatever. And all of my pine trees, they are all flowering at the same time. And uh, my my sinuses are driving me absolutely insane. So it's the whole question of, is it pollen or is it Corona? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's, 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 it's sinus. <laughs> so anyway, spring has sprung. That's what it does for me. It gives it that nice soft floral. Like I just walked past a, a really pretty flower that I liked and thought, Ooh, what is that? So it's not overpowering at all. And I really like, I, I, I love that one. That was a good one. I have heard people mixing it. Spring has sprung with <clears throat> what did that what did they say they mix it with? Uh sugar strawberry? Oh. Sorry, coffee. Um I haven't tried that yet. I'm gonna have to try that. Alright, so trying to get rid of some things. I did this in the camper. <clears throat> I had like one cube. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> I had like one cube left. Toasted marshmallow and hazelnut frosting. So I threw them in together, warmed it for six to eight hours and then I was done y'all know how I feel about these I think they're great I think they're great initially I mean they smell great but once they lose that that top note and get down to that caramel vanilla just soft base note I don't like them anymore so glad to be done with those just cleaning out the cleaning out the um the old bin oh another pink tulips I think I had a couple of partial partial bar, bars. No, I had a full bar and a partial bar. So anyway, um, I'm gonna save those. I'm gonna save those reviews. Okay. Hibiscus pineapple is amazing. I love this scent. Oh, it's so good. It's floral. It's fruity, but it's not floral. It's not like it's not. That kind of floral, but it is not just fruity. It's hibiscus pineapple. That was so good. I love it. I love it. I love it. It performs well. It does well. It it smells good. I just love it. I'm putting that right there. Mahola cup. Mahalo coconut. <clears throat> I really love the way this one smells. <clears throat> and it was a decent performer, but it wasn't a. Um, it's really soft really soft 
It's just really soft. Um, it was a decent performer. It was more of a background performer, more of a background scent, nothing that just really kind of threw you out. Um, it would be perfect in like one cube in a bathroom or laundry room <clears throat> or even in a um, um, guest room. If you got guests coming, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it's not offensive. It's just a nice, clean, soft scent. I like it. I've got two cubes left. I'll use it. I probably won't buy it again. Um, I'll definitely buy hibiscus pineapple again. I loved it. Peach nectar. Another one that I love. Which surprises me because I don't love peach scents. And it is peach, but it's a perfume peach. It's a, um, <clears throat> it's not, it is a fruit, of course, obviously. It's a fruity peach. But it's not a, um, a, a foodie put it that way it's not a foodie peach not to me it's not it's it's a fruit it's a perfumey peach it's beautiful it's definitely peachy but it's got an amber in it <clears throat> I think it's got amber I think it's amber that's in there and it man it just smells good I love it it was a good performer um, with most scents like this peach and apple and whatnot that peach kind of does dissipate pretty quick so it's more of a full day type performer instead of a three to four day performer um, to me, that's what I found. But I warmed this in the camper, so I look forward to warming it in. Actually, I have two cubes left. I might put that in here and see how it does. Um, <clears throat> I look forward to seeing how it performs in, in the house where it's not, you know, being thrown out in the camper. <laughs> I feel like I wasted so much Scentsy in my camper now that I know what it's supposed to smell like. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know if I told y'all this at any time I'm sure I have because I've complained about that stupid place for so long but the, the camper had um, hurricane damage I live down in coastal area um, of the US and so hurricanes come through here <laughs> and this camper used to live down closer to the coast and it had hurricane damage I knew it did when I got it um, I'm thankful to have been able to use it for this long it was, it's my cousins I'm, I'm thankful to him for letting me use it um, since my rental house got sold out from under me and I had land, but I had nowhere to live. <laughs> so I'm, I'm very thankful for that, but it did have hur hurricane damage. And so there, there was some mold and mildew issues and it did smell musty in there. Um, which is why my windows stayed open almost all the time. <laughs> Didn't matter what time of year it was. Um, and, and so Cincy, even though, um, <coughs> I promise sinus <laughs> I'm not sick <laughs> um, but we are safe dif distance even if I am um, no I have, it's, it's sinus um, I feel perfectly fine but anyway it did smell a little musty in there so even with the scentsy I could smell the scentsy but it was covering that musty and so I, it wasn't a clear scentsy smell so now that I'm in this house and can smell that clear scentsy smell and these beautiful scents, um, I feel like I wasted 18 month, months of Scentsy in that suit, in that in that camper. So I, it's almost like starting over again. I'm so excited because I get to re, um, what's the word? Not reestablish, but um, rediscover my scents. So I know that sounds dumb. I'm sorry. All right, we're almost to the bottom, guys. Very bright. <coughs> very bright i got two cubes left of it it is so much like blueberry rush to me it's not even funny um i mean it is i, I know it's not a dupe i'm not a uh, i wasn't a um blueberry rush gotta have love type person i liked it i thought it was great it was a beautiful set but this honestly very bright smells just like it to me and so I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to enjoy these last two cubes. But that's what it smells like to me. Blueberry Rush. Let's see. Apricot Vanilla. I had just a couple of cubes left of it. It was an empty out type thing. I probably mixed it with something. What do... Uh, I don't know what I mixed it with. But I'm sure I mixed it with something. Because it was only a couple of cubes. Let's see. I am sorry. I this is sudden. Like <laughs> no, it is sinus. I know. Well, I, I know what it is. 
It was 90 degrees. It was over 90 degrees over the weekend. We had a storm come through last night, and it is barely not even 70 degrees. It's, it's in the 60s. It's probably in the low 60s outside right now. <clears throat> so I, that, that is what it is. That storm front came through, and that's what it is. So Anyway, another, I had a cube or two, now and zen. I probably did some crazy mixing with now and zen and apr apr apricot vanilla. See if I can get that word out. I probably mixed those, you know. Why not? Now and then, sweat. A clean grape. It's it's got grapefruit too, but it's it's I don't like it like I do. Um, be fabulous. So anyway, moving on. Moving on. I have snow over it. <laughs> I had like two cubes in there, so I used up a lot. This is a this is a good minty. It's kind of a tree. It's more winter, and I think I was just trying to get rid of some stuff. This one might might have had one or two cubes in it. Um, <clears throat> So, I would put a couple of cubes in and let it go and then um, empty it out and put something else in. I was just trying to get rid of clamshells. Let's see. Eskimo Kiss, another one. I might have actually mixed these. Um, Snow Over It and Eskimo Kiss. I, I probably mixed them. Not mixed them, but put them in like one warmer and then two warmers. Yeah. Eskimo Kiss. Um, I don't remember the description to it. And winter candy apple. I love this. It is a perfect dupe for um, Bath and Body Work winter candy apple, <clears throat> which I have. I probably shouldn't admit this as a Cincy consultant. I probably should not admit this. But during um, Bath and Body Works um, semi annual sale back in December, I stocked up <laughs> when the soaps and the lotions were $3 a piece. I stocked up so I have stockpiles of winter candy apple lotion and hand soaps I know I shouldn't admit that but it is my absolute favorite scent and if Scentsy had it in the hand in the body wash and the body care line I'd be all over that but they don't so <clears throat> got two cubes left of that and I will definitely enjoy and love that shimmer all-time favorite love the scent it's so good it's cherry it's Cherry, amber, sugar. It's just a really beautiful perfume. So I've got another bar of that. It's in my club. It's, it's a ride or die. All right. I am missing. <clears throat> no, no, I'm not going to be able to get to it, y'all. Okay. I can't get to it because I'm using the box as my, as my platform for my, um, um, So, <clears throat> the Easter bun bundle. Um, I have one through all three, but I only have one clamshell because the other clamshells are in this box underneath my iPad. So, um, darn it. Dang it. Sorry. All right. So, there was what, what were the cotton candy sugar cookie, right? And, um,. Candy Dandy, Candy Dandy, and Rockin' Ruby Rass. Okay, Cotton Candy Sugar Cookie. I hate that I don't have it to show you. Cotton Candy Sugar Cookie, it was good. Uh, I loved it on cold. I mean, I thought it would be like my go-to favorite scent ever. Um, <clears throat> so I loved it on cold. I put it in the warmer in here. Um, I, I did all the testing of these in here. Put it in this warmer in here. I really liked it for a little while. <clears throat> it's a very strong scent, very strong thrower, very um, it to it, it is it is nowhere near bakery for me. I don't get bakery at all. Um, <clears throat> I get more of a like a sugar vibe, uh, that perfume vibe, um, and the cook, sugar cookie might just give it a little bit of a sweetness. But it's not bakery. <clears throat> it's not bakery to me. It's more of a perfume. It's very, very sharp, strong perfume to me. It smells great. I really liked it. But I went outside and I did some work outside and came back in. And I, I think I might have gotten too hot outside. And when I came back in, 
it gave me a headache. Now, the headache was probably more due to getting hot outside while working and then coming back in and having that sharp smell. So, <clears throat> I did end up taking that out at that time just because of, because of that. Um, I, I am going to try it again, though, because I, I, I really think that that was the situation. All right, Candy Dandy. So sweet. It's so good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's got, it's very sweet. It's very candy. It's very um, <clears throat> childlike, very innocent, very um, juvenile. Uh, it, it really is. And, and I thoroughly enjoyed it for about six hours. And then it went down to that straight vanilla scent that I don't like. And so I ended up taking that out. But I, I've got another bar of it and I'm going to enjoy that. Um, but it, uh, it'll just be with that expectation that it's not going to last for several days. It's just a, or for, even for a full day, it's just, it's going to last until I enjoy it and then I'll take it out. But I, I, I think I'm going to take that one out of my, I think I'm going to take that one out of my scent club. Um, I'm still not sure about cotton candy, sh uh, sugar cookie. <clears throat> I'm still not, oh gosh, y'all. I'm still not sure about the cotton candy cookie yet. I might keep it in my club. But I'm gonna warm it again and see before I make that decision because I don't wanna take it out and then be like, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Um, Rock and Ruby Rasp is staying in my club. This is straight up fruit punch. And I did not know that I would love the smell of fruit punch in my house so much, but I do. It's just so sweet and so fruity and so, I don't know if it has raspberry in there or not. It might have raspberry in there. It doesn't say it in the description that I remember. I think the um, I think the cotton candy sugar cookie did have raspberry. <clears throat> but this is not just your straight strawberry fruit drink. This has something else in it. And I'm thinking it might have some raspberry in those mendots or something. But I really loved it. It's staying in my club. I liked it in the house. It was delicious. So, um, yeah. Okay, so those are those three. Um, the Fantasy Wax Collection. That's what I have here. That's what I was putting off to the side. I have worn through four of them. I don't have the fifth one because I gave it to my mom and she liked it. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not going to get to warm through that. I'm okay with that. I did not like this collection. It was a total miss for me. That's okay. Not everything can be a big hit. Um, but this collection was definitely a miss for me. Let's see, I've got Rainbow Berry. This is the only one that I even remotely like. And it even, I've got two cubes left of it. And it even has, it smells like bug spray to me. It smells like bug spray to me. So it's, and it was, I, I'll, I'll warm these last two cubes. I might mix it with something, maybe split these cubes in half and, Mix it with some Johnny Appleseed or something and just give it a little more fruity. Big C Sparkle. <clears throat> I put two cubes in here. I took it out after a few hours, probably four or five hours. Oof. Probably four or five hours. It, mm -mm, it's not for me. Um, It's not bad. I mean, they're not bad. And some people love them. I'm just not one of them. I can't even describe what it smells like. Confetti party. This one's the green apple one. I think this one's weird. I, um, yeah. <clears throat> I have never heard, and I bake but I'm probably wrong because I'm not a professional baker, obviously. Um, <clears throat> I have never heard of, of many people putting Granny Smith apple with confectionate sugar. It just, it's just not, it, that's, that goes more with berries and, you know, that kind of stuff. So, um, but I'm probably wrong. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and admit that. I'm probably wrong. Um... This smells like a diaper pail to me. It does. A, a clean one, not with dirty diapers, but a diaper pail with baby powder and, and, you know, where diapers have been in there. That's just what it smells like to me. I don't like it. I don't know what I'm going to do with those four cues. I don't, I don't know. Unicorn Kisses. This is the, 
I really like this one on cold, actually. I said the other one was the only one I even remotely liked, but that's not true. Um, I really do like this one. It's a very strong, um, very strong cherry. It's almost like cherry almond pie, but without the almond. Um, except for it kind of has an almond in it, but it doesn't have almond in it. And that doesn't make any sense. But it did not perform. Like, it was, it was gone. <laughs> I smelled it for just not even long at all and then it was gone so that was disappointing because the scent was good but it was a terrible performer so the fantasy collection like i said i don't have the fifth one so i can't talk about it but um the the fantasy collection as a whole four out of five even if i did love the fifth one it would not be worth it to me um i did i didn't like them at all it was total miss it was not something i enjoyed but that is okay because I really like the Easter collection and we've got so many other collections coming. We have Mother's Day bundles coming that have a new scent in it that um, uh, that we've never had before. So, you know, those things are exciting. we got some things coming. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, the fabulous little scent cup. Got it. And then, let's see. Sweet Pea and Vanilla um, scent pack. And what I did with it, I took a, um, a GoPod that had lost its scent and I opened it up because those tops just pop off. I emptied those out and got rid of those and I put these in it. Um, I cut it on the tip there and I, and I um, filled up those pods and there you go, new, new fresh pods. Um, and then a jar disc in jammy time. It still has, it still actually has pretty decent smell to it, but, um, I just got pink cotton in the, um, laundry. Love the pink cotton in the laundry. So, um, I don't know, I don't know what my dog is barking at. Um, so I, it was all, it's, it's been tattered and battered and used a good bit. So I'm moving on to the pink cotton. Anyway. Uh, I hope you can still hear me with him barking in there, but that's all I've been going through. What have y'all been going through? I'm going to try and keep it more consistent since I'm in the house now and, and accumulating a little more and April 1st starting fresh. Um, so yeah, what have y'all been going through and what have you loved and did you like the fantasy collection? Because I know a lot of people did. Um, everybody have an awesome week. It's Wednesday. We're halfway through. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. We're halfway through this week. And um, those of you that are in the front lines, stay safe, stay healthy. And um, those of you at home, only, only leave when you need to. There's no need to take your whole family to the grocery store one of you go. And then follow, you know, good procedures when you get home. So stay healthy and safe. And I will catch y'all next time.